Jesus said, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Father God, at the end of three months of lockdown and bad news, we are all feeling somewhat poor in spirit. And yet you remind us that we are indeed blessed. We thank you for all the ways that you have blessed us in these difficult days, for strength and health to carry on, for technology that enables us to connect with each other, for the immense wealth that we have in your love for us. Lord, bless us that we might be a blessing. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Gentle Saviour, we pray today for all those who are mourning, for those who have lost precious people that they love, for those who are grieving for opportunities and milestones missed, for those who feel cut off and isolated. Lord, bless us that we might be a comfort. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Sovereign Lord, we have learned the hard way in these last three months that we are not the masters of our own destiny. Give us humility to rely on you and trust you for the future. When we cannot plan, may we learn patience. When we cannot control and feel insignificant, give us your peace and your steady rhythm of grace. Lord God, bless us that we might be a calming presence. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Righteous God, we have seen in this time of change that many of our normal behaviours have meant that we have turned a blind eye to injustice. Where we have been lazy, light the fire of righteous anger. Where we have settled for less for our fellow human beings, give us a raging hunger for equity. And where we have become comfortable, disturb us with a burning thirst for liberty for all. Lord God, bless us that we might be a force for change. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Gracious Redeemer, as we look at the suffering of the last three months, we ask for mercy. We pray that you would make us a merciful people who look for the good we can do for our neighbour. We pray that the mercy we have received would make us generous givers to all. And we pray that in your mercy, you would bring healing to the world that you love. Lord God, bless us that we might be a people where true mercy can be found by all. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Holy God, as the blame game starts in political spheres, give us pure hearts that look for the good in every situation. May we first and foremost seek after you. As normality returns, may we still seek after you. And as we reflect on this season, may we look back and see you at work in the hearts of our people as well as our churches. Lord God, bless us that we might be people with a heart after you. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Prince of peace, in a world where life or death can be decided by the colour of our skin, do not let us settle for cheap peace. Give us a passion to create a world where peace is for all. Give us a burden to weed out the prejudices in our own lives that spoil peace for others. Give us the desire to work for peace and understanding with those who don't share our views and experiences. Lord God, bless us that we might be peacemakers in a tumultuous world. Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. King of heaven, as we feel a little battered by experience, may we remember those who are truly persecuted. As we are not able to meet, may we stand with those who have always had to meet in secret. As we treasure the times when we were able to worship together, may we look forward to the day when we will be joining with the multitude in unending worship and joy. And as we seek to bring in your kingdom, 
May we rejoice in the sure knowledge that we are, each one of us, loved subjects of the King of Kings. Lord God, bless us that we might be a kingdom people who truly are a blessing to your waiting world. Amen. <laughs>